Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Are you ready for rock and roll? Ready, ready. Of course, very good. Okay, welcome. So we're going to start the classes today. The first thing that we always do is to check about the platform. So today is Tuesday and this is the class of today. And uh, this is the question for today. Hey, I have a I have a problem, but I'm doing I'm going to, to help for help. Uh okay, so are you going to with ask? The yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, at the end. I at have the end. a problem. Yeah, with the one point nine homework. Ah, okay. The one point yeah. nine. So the one from the first one, yeah. For tonight, we have to do the exercise 2.2. .2. Let me just check. Yeah. Uh, it's this one. Again, in this one, we need to be careful about uh, the spaces, the period, punctuation, things like that. That is going to be uh, important for us to check, right? And you say 1.9, right? Right. Uh, okay. Um, number four. Okay, let me check. Uh, there is a kind of, I don't know, something that I say, I'm sorry. It's like, it it's um, analyze the form, or something like that. Lo siento, no puedo analizar la form. No puedo analizar la form. So let me just get that. This is kind of slow by now. So we can get into that one. You say that is 1.9, number four, right? Yeah, I can't care if it's my, my screen will be one. It's growing. And right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally. Okay, it says, sorry, couldn't pierce the formula, right? right? And the rest of the people, did you have that problem as well? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so nobody has this correct. Okay, I'm going to, this is an error on the platform, so I'm going to report that one. Um, leave it blank and submit the other ones. And uh, yes, it's a problem on the platform. It's about the coding. Don't worry. So I'm going to check into that one. I'm going to, well, I am not able to correct it since I don't have access to the coding, but I'm going to report that one. So, and that is correct. I will let you know if that is correct very soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good, good. Yeah, I didn't check that before. So I was checking and yeah, I see that right now. Okay, we're going to check the uh, attendance, of course. Oh, this always moves. Yes, get there. And here is it. Today is Tuesday the 13th. So, Ada, Azucena, Cáceres, Mendoza. Good, perfect. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. 
Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana y Beth Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima y Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good, perfect. Okay, so let's start for with the class of today. So today is going to be also interesting. You know, these days we've been discussing about some interesting topics. Uh, that sometimes it's kind of difficult to to speak because as we say it's a taboo or it's uncomfortable or things happen but i mean this is part of uh, what we need to do and we need to practice that in english so topic of today is religion first question what is religion in general of course What is religion? What is that? I don't know what is that. Tell me, please. I want to know. What, what is religion, you said? Exactly, in general, of course. Uh, it's about belief. It's about believing. Uh -huh. believing in, in God for us. Okay. Belief is a belief. Uh, when you believe in God or Something or depending related. Depending on the religion, right? Def definitely, depending on the religion. But it's, yes, it's about beliefs. It's about what you think is going to happen or uh, is happening in a world that we can see. So many things we can explain on that one. So, yes, religion is a, like a set, a list of beliefs, depending on their religion that uh, you follow. Uh, hello, Juan Miguel. I'm going to say it. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. But that is it, okay? So, uh, Heidi said something that is that is interesting. Belief. What is a belief? Maybe all the things, things uh, like uh, the goals, uh, presence uh, the way that that you think uh, that are doing the things in the good way uh, uh, the traditions that these beliefs uh, um, are going no are, are uh, set uh, but by 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 uh, people in the past and uh, um, I think that related to religion, okay? Okay, very good. So I believe it's like the set of least characteristics, things that we believe. Uh, somebody else's? I think um, it's something that is um, strongly rooted, I mean, it's rooted um, in, in, your, in your mind, something that even though you can um, prove <laughs> um, you, you believe anyway. You believe that, that this is true? <laughs> okay, that is interesting. I mean, you are not able to prove that, but you still believe that that is true. That is interesting, right? Because we live in a world of logic. Of course, this is something that is ancient. It's a very old uh, thinking. But of course, we're going to check into, into a little bit on that one uh, and then go with religion at work. So anybody else's, what is a belief? No, no more, okay. So there is another question for you. 
What is faith? Maybe the uh, the security or the confidence that you have or the confidence that you have uh, in order to something is something it will be done. It will be done if you ask for it with uh, this with this security or with this confidence, okay? You say something, a word that is a key there, confident. So when you, when you have the faith, it's because you are confident that something is going to happen or it's not going to happen, or uh, I mean, things like that one, right? That is faith. Um, so, but what is the difference between belief and faith? Uh, maybe, for example, um, uh, faith is something is when you believe with no doubt in something, even if you don't see it that clear. And belief is something that you think is real somehow, but not truly. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Any other comment? Difference between a uh, belief and um, faith. I think there is a, a huge difference because uh, you can be sure, or you can have the confidence, the confidence that one thing, or or. Yeah, one thing or one, uh, uh, yeah, one thing that you want uh, that you want to pass is to happen, okay. But this, I think, it's not star related with your beliefs, okay? Because I, uh, for example, I have confidence in. Uh, Sorry that I will mention this, but I'm confident that I will pass this this module, okay? But this this is not related with with your beliefs, okay? Um, for and for the other hand, uh, your beliefs is uh, are all the things that you um, believe in, or or all the things or characteristics, this, this list of, of many, many situations, many things that for tradition are passed pass to you from your ancient people, or sometimes you have learned from another person, okay? But the faith is, is the, is to have this confidence that something will happen or like you said before, or not to happen. Uh, sometimes we relate those things, but if you if you see the whole picture, <laughs> I think there is a, a like a really, really thin line that could separate all these, these two things, okay? Okay, very good, perfect. So that is a very nice point of view. Uh, yeah, it's like, it, sometimes they're related, sometimes they're not related. Uh, speaking about religion, maybe they're related, but uh, yeah, you can have a set of beliefs and you can have faith in something that is different or is related. So that, that should be the case. Anybody else's? For me, teacher, there, there's a difference. For example, you can be religious. You can go to church every single Sunday and, and you don't have faith because faith for me is the certainty of what you don't see, right? So for me, you can be religious without faith. Okay, that is true. I mean, and that happens a lot. Sometimes some people, mm -hmm. they 
they are religious, they, are, they have some beliefs, but they do not have faith. And also the opposite, right? Some people, they really have faith, but they do not go to church or any other thing. So many things can happen. Nowadays, actually, uh, it's kind of difficult to, uh, I mean, everybody's individual and uh, every family has different traditions and that is also linked to beliefs. So yes, beliefs is like uh, things that you, even when you cannot prove, you believe that that happens. Do you believe that that is the truth, that that is going to happen or that is happening right now? Some people believe in angels, for example, that they are there taking care of us. Some other people believe uh, that there is heaven after life. Some other people, they do not believe in heaven or hell. So it's like something that you believe even when you cannot prove. That is the truth. Faith, on the other hand, is like maybe to do something uh, even when you know i mean for example i will i will tell you this example i i really like movies you know uh, there is a scene in indiana jones and uh, i don't remember the name of the complement of the movie but it's with his father and he has to go through so many things and there is something that, that he has to do, like a trap, you know, Indiana Jones has a lot of traps. And uh, in, the, in the book, uh, it says you have, to ha ha you have to do a jump of faith, a step of faith. And see, he, he goes uh, to like a climb, you know, it's like a cliff and mm -hmm. it's a big hole, you know, and he is looking down and he says, oh my goodness, this is impossible. This, the jump is too much. I won't be able to do it. I'm going to die. But anyways, he closed his eyes and he stepped up. And there is something that he can stand up. He didn't die. So something like that is faith. It's like doing something because you really believe uh, that something good is going to happen even when you're not sure. Uh, or doing certain things because you really believe that this is your salvation or is going to help your family, many things like that, right? Good, interesting. So let's move on with something. Um, I, I know a lot of people that they do not believe in God, they don't have, they don't have strong beliefs. Maybe they believe in something, but they do not believe uh, very strong. They do not have strong beliefs, but something happens. Something happens that when everybody has a lot of problems, when you have a difficult situation, something that you cannot fix by yourself, then you have faith, right? So if somebody is at the hospital, if there is an accident, if there is a situation that is very difficult, even if you believe or not, people, they go, to that feeling, they try to, uh, to to look for help, right? To try to believe at that point. Why do you believe that happens? What is your opinion on that kind of situations? Will you repeat the situation and the question? Yeah, the situation is that uh, there are people that they do not believe. They don't have strong beliefs. They do not have a, a, be a belief in anything. They, they say nothing exists and something like that. But uh, the same people, when they experience big difficulties, then they pray or they try to find faith or believe in something. Why do you believe that happens? Maybe they pass through a difficult situation and they lost their faith. I think um, all is about principle, right? Maybe uh, this kind of person, um, when they were children, um, they are far in and, 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 
teach them or something like that, or you know, a religion, the faith, and then with the facts of time, of the time, and they forgot that they see, um, they just don't continue with that. <laughs> and so, and when they are facing that kind of situation, well, I think they remember they are maybe this is great for say in a way and in the they come back to the way of principle. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, sometimes uh, yeah there are changes, there are things that impact our lives. So that might be um the situation on this. Any other comment on this? And addition to that, but I think, um, I think um, the, the situation maybe is, is so, so, so um, overwhelming, I can say, or, or, or desperate. They are the situation, okay? And they, and, and, and the people know that they, they can do anything. To, to solve it. And so they know that there are, I don't know if they know or they feel that there is a, um, a superior being, a superior being, and they, <laughs> they it, it is in the, the car they left, but I don't know. They, Wait, and and so they play that card. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that happens. I mean, when you are in an overwhelming situation, um, well, you you need a way out. You need a solution, and nobody can give you that solution. So, and you say something very interesting: feelings. So there are feelings inside of us that tells you. Uh, look for this or go for this side. I mean, and it's not only related with religion, I mean, feelings. Uh, sometimes things happen to you in many different ways. For example, there are twins that even when they are not together, if something happened to the twin on the other side of the city, you can feel it, right? How do you explain that one? So it's something inside of you that tells you, right? This is happening, something is going on. Uh, there are people that they feel when their grandmother died. So how is that possible? So feelings, again, are very strong in, in, in situations like this. So, and then you look for something, you look for an answer, uh, something that you cannot explain. And it's always there. It's very interesting how that happens. Yeah. And there are many things that we cannot explain. For example, um, what do you believe about deja vu? A matrix error, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's one of my favorite uh, movies, actually. Yeah, the Jebus are very interesting. And there is, I mean, psychologists, they try to explain. I do not believe in the explanation of psychologists because, I mean, sometimes I have been in places for the very first time and uh, the things, strange things happen there. So. I mean, it's impossible, right? I have never been there and I have never been with these people speaking these exact words. Yeah, for me, it's kind of strange. I cannot tell you the answer for that one, but of course we don't know. And those are beliefs. I mean, you believe that this is related to this or other thing because of things that you feel inside of you, you know, that maybe something supernatural or something else is out there. And it's something that maybe from the very beginning of humanity existed, right? I mean, since the very beginning, uh, uh, mankind, they try to, to find answers for things that they do not understand. Uh, and that's 
how religion was created, right? Trying to explain these kind of situations. Of course, here we are not going to discuss what is the best or what is the true religion because beliefs are like that one, right? But we, we can discuss about some other things. Uh, do you know how many religions are there in the world? Not, but many, many. A lot, right? Yeah. Actually, if you research, you will find a, a large number. Can you please research there and tell me what do you find? How many religions? How many religions are there in the world by now? I think it's complicated because uh, I don't know, but people consider that, for example, new age movements or things like that are uh, new religions, okay? For example, if you believe in uh, extraterrestrial uh, ends, there is another religion. And if you believe this, but if you add something uh, in addition to, there is another religion or another secta in English. I don't know how to say this, but this is a, a for, I, I think, for, or every movement is a, <laughs> is a, a religion, a new a new religion. Yeah, that is true. Even, even the internet says teacher that the more than a one uh, four hundred and no, well, four thousand and three hundred religion. Okay, I was doesn't show... know the exactly the number. Uh, well, I was checking here in Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia is not the best source, but it says there are an estimated of 10,000 distinct religions worldwide. In my end, that. Even the internet doesn't know how many are. I mean, we can invent a new religion right here and, and that's it, right? So um, that is it. Uh, beliefs. People really want to believe. They want to to experience things and uh, religions are there to try to explain or to connect you with the spiritual time. So that there are a lot of religion. 10,000 is, I mean, a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. I cannot even in mind. So that means that maybe there are, maybe not 10,000 gods, but there are many, a lot of gods, right? So it's, it's a big deal. And which is the religion that has more people around the world? Um, well, some like that, yeah. Some like that. It actually is, uh, in general, Christianity, right? According yeah. to this one is 2.382 billion people. That is 31.11% of the whole population of the world. Below that one, Islam is the next then agnostic atheists or non-religious with 15.58%, then Buddhism, Chinese traditional religion, and then there are many other religions. So yeah, there are a lot, a lot of religions, a lot of religions with a lot of people. So now we go to the topic of today. Um, is it religion something important at the workplace? Does it have an impact in the workplace? What do you think? Mm. Uh, I I will give my my personal opinion. Okay, of course. Um, I don't know the this uh, this uh, is really really important in the workplace or uh, relevant at the workplace. But uh, obviously uh, you have developed or you have been developed many uh, values in your life, okay? And many of them are related with the way that you were raised, okay? Uh, according to a religion, where uh, they say to you or, or they told you, uh, okay, this is correct and this is not correct. This is ethic and this is not ethic, okay? 
So that that's my my point of view. Okay, because uh, in in the workplace, maybe it's not a relevant uh, situation. But if you see the background, uh, I think it's kind of relevant because uh, you could uh, establish a general view of the people or of the person who will be add who will be added to your team okay in order to to say okay this uh, this person or these people is uh, kind of related with uh, the values in the company with the uh, with the way that we behave in the company or something like this okay uh, for example uh, uh, i for example okay uh, if one person is practicing a black i don't know how to say black religion or something related to uh, i don't think that you will be able to to let or to add this this person to to your company okay uh, but um, in my in my thoughts, I think it will be uh, not relevant in the moment. But if you see the background, like that, like I told you before, it's good to to explore this situation, okay, or to explore this uh, this uh, yeah this situation. Okay. okay, actually, it's very interesting what you say. I mean, because religion is linked to values, right? Yeah. If you are, people believe that if you are part of this or this other religion, you are related with the values. So if you 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 believe in this, you are this kind of person, and if you believe in this other, you are a different kind of person. So that is true, and uh, well, that answers the question, right? Yes, it has an impact at work. But anyway, speaking about diversity, um, yeah. it's kind of difficult, right? So we can say we should we should have diversity at work, and it doesn't matter for your religion. But at the end, uh, yeah, people evaluate that one, and that is something that happens. Maybe more here in Latin America, and more than in Europe or any other countries, uh, they are like more open to that kind of thing. It doesn't matter, right? It's like the dress code, for example. Uh, here is very important that you go and dress fine. But it, there are some companies in the U.S. I mean, Google. Sometimes uh, I have never been in Google in California. I work for Google, but when they come here to El Salvador, I mean, they you, you look at them, it's like they are going on vacation. The same happens. With religion in other countries maybe it's not important for them but for latin american people is very important so the thing is how we can handle that one i mean how can we have diversity if we still check on values about people based on religion any other comments uh, yes i sure uh, i think it is important um uh, link with that you say about values, I think, and the employees in, in the workplace, maybe uh, they think twice when they are doing any anything in the workplace. For example, if a boss tell them to to say a lie in a rip and a report or or um I don't know to to lie. In any aspect, not be honest. Uh, if they have, if they have values, maybe they're not gonna do that that thing. So, um, it's important. And if they have the opportunity to steal something, maybe they don't, they don't do it. And so, it's important to to consider that in the workplace. Maybe I, I don't. I'm not saying that people that don't believe in, in anything are bad persons, but for example, maybe they feel more free to do whatever they want instead okay. of, of of thinking about, oh, this is bad. 
I repented from doing this. So I think it's important. Okay. Yes, as we say, it's kind of difficult, right? Because, I mean, uh, as we say, it's linked to values and values are very important for us. Uh, I mean, companies, they have values, they have um, different slogans and you need to mirror those, those values. So sometimes it's kind of difficult, but anyways, we need to look for diversity. So how can we handle that one? Any other opinion? We are talking about diversity, okay? But uh, I think uh, it's good uh, to explore this, uh, maybe the religion that one person is practicing, uh, like I told you before, but this is not the, or this this could not be a the determinant factor to, to say, oh, he's hired or not, he's not hired because of this. Um, how, how to tell this? Um, um, I had an interview many, many years ago. Uh, and uh, one of the interest questions that uh, the person who was interviewing me was a hey, what religion are you practicing now? Uh, I told you, okay, I'm a Catholic person, and uh, all of my life I uh, I've been practicing this this religion. Okay, okay, it's it's enough to me just to know that you are uh, a person who believes in something, someone, or some. Uh, who is beyond that we see in order to uh, um, um, how to say this like uh, he, he's tried to to tell me that you are um, uh, how, how to say this idea I I I don't really care what you believe in, but I really care that you believe in something that uh, that uh, make that you are or you will be a better person, a better person every day. Okay, and obviously this is a, a cl close to to the things that I told you before, but it uh, it was for me a question that in many in many companies they don't ask you uh, this situation. So for for that I will uh, I I um I was like admired ad admired because of this. Uh, in, in my case uh, and in my job, uh, there are people who are cat Christ Christian, Catholic, uh, Christians, uh, I don't know how to say the of the Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah, Witnesses, yeah. Okay. And many other people who has uh, their own beliefs. And I think we have the di diversity. And it's it's good uh, because you have many points of view in a situation, not only for work, uh, but also when you are talking about uh, anything in your job, okay? And I don't know, it's, uh, it, it, it um, it's difficult for me not to say this. It it doesn't has to be a a relevant question or relevant um, uh, check checkpoint 
or I don't know, uh -huh, yeah. for for higher people, but you should explore, okay, in order to to stay stay uh, secure by by yourself that there is a people in your company that that believes in something, okay, and and not and not is walking in the life just by by walking or or by passing. Uh, if you believe in Martians, it's okay to believe in Martians, okay? But you believe in something that uh, try to you or, or try to to uh, to you to be a better person or something like this, and not and not uh, trying to uh, to make uh, bad things. I I I think. Okay. Very good, interesting. Actually, um, yeah, I agree with you. So that happened to me once. Actually, I was applying for uh, coordination in a company and uh, they asked the questions and I passed the test and the interviews. And at the end, they told me, uh, you are the perfect candidate. You have everything that we need, but it's not possible to give you the position because you're not Christian. Oh. So I felt discriminated to be honest yeah yeah i mean because they told me actually you have everything and it's very sad we're going to hire actually they told me we're going to hire another person that is not well prepared for the position but he is christian so i mean that's not good right at the end i respected but what will happen? Am I am I in the situation am i in the situation that they told me i will uh, i won't be able to hire you because you're a woman well, nowadays, that is a big problem. I can go yeah. to the police and say, these people, they discriminate because, and they have to change the policies and things like that. But it's not possible to do it because of religion, right? I mean, it's possible, you can do it. But maybe the police is not going to listen to you. They're going to say, uh, you know, that is no big deal. Look for another job. But it's the same situation. I mean, you are not going to get something because of, something that you believe or something that you are or you do not believe in my end so at the end of course i didn't do anything but it was not a good experience not at all so imagine the other way around imagine that you are the human resources a person that is hiring somebody and the person that you are going to hire they tell you ah you know i um I am not a Christian, but I am the opposite. I, uh, I am a Satanist, but that is only religion that has nothing to do with, with my work. I mean, I have all the privileges, so everything that I have to, to do, but maybe you are going to be shocked, right? It's going to be, wait, what, what do you believe? What do you do there? And mm -hmm. because of many things, maybe you are going to be afraid, right? You're going to say, mm, this person is not a good fit in the company, right? So it's complicated, actually, it's complicated because again, we're talking about values, yes. right? So, I mean, it, talking about diversity, if somebody says, I am a Satanist, that is not a problem. You should hire that person if the person has the qualifications. But of course, that person is not going to be hired, right? That is not gonna happen, right? So is, this is kind of complex, right? Yeah. Is, is I, have, I have seen many, many announcement, announcements on newspapers where a, a religious institution are seeking for or are looking for a, a teacher a Christian, a teacher, a, a, a Christian's teacher, okay? And the the in, requisito indispensable requirement uh, a requirement yeah uh, must uh, a must, must be a requirement huh? a must be a requirement is that he or she must must be christian not catholic not a another religion but christian yeah and nowadays is uh, every uh, monday that you buy the newspaper uh, are some some uh, classifies like this 
Yeah, that happens a lot, a lot. And that is actually, that is discrimination. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. Maybe you can ask about your values. You can ask about family, how family is important for you. Um, I mean, but um, yes, again, uh, values are going to crash, right? I mean, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. So it's discrimination, but there should be another way for you to have diversity. The, depending on many things, depending on many things. And sometimes we have something that is called double standard. Do you know what is double standard, everybody? No, 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 no. Okay, a double standard is when depending on the situation or depending on the person that is doing something is good or, or is not good. For example, I will give you an example. Uh, imagine that you are at home, you are playing music very loud at two in the morning, any kind of music. I mean, rock, um, Latin music, you are singing there and you are uh, very happy. I mean, your neighbors, they can call the police, right? They can say, I cannot sleep. This person here is, is uh, having a lot of noise here. That is actually noise pollution. But what happens uh, with some houses on some churches that they do the same kind of noise at two in the morning sometimes, but nobody says nothing because it's a church. That is a double standard, okay? It's the same noise. Maybe I cannot sleep because they are making noise, ah, but it's a church. So we cannot do anything about it because mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're good people in, in, in parentheses, right? So that is double standard. And that happens a lot based on religion, but only in Latin America. I mean, in other countries, I mean, they really, really don't care about religion. And uh, they, I mean, if a church is doing that, that kind of noise, they call the police, they do that one. And the police goes and says, you need to shut down the music and go to bed. Tomorrow during the day, you can do these things. There are rules for everybody, but not, in Latin America, because we are still very religious. Religious is still very important for us. So any other comment, any other experience? You told something important here. In my case, Sunday at 2 p.m., uh, okay, is, is in the day, but uh, it's on Sunday at 2 p.m., some some people uh, they take this time to to take a nap or something like that and it's impossible because because of this kind of situations that uh, you call the police and the police tell you oh, it's rock it's a, a reggaeton or something like that no it's a church oh, okay but uh, we are not able to to stop them or to to uh, to tell them to to stop the 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 sound because it's a church and it's kind of upset the situation. That is true. I mean, you as a neighbor, uh, I mean, that is not good. Maybe you have the you need time for you to rest. I mean, maybe they do it one hour uh, in the morning or one hour in the afternoon. But sometimes it's a lot of time. I mean, it's all the afternoon. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's at night, so that is, it's not good. I mean, respect is for everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. They they have the right, everybody have the right to go to church, to do whatever they want, to sing songs, to be happy, to believe, to praise God. That is wonderful. It's amazing. But uh, if it's interfering with the life of other people, that is beyond respect. So it's, it's not correct, right? It's not good. But anyways, imagine what you say. I mean, if you call the police, they can't do anything. It's like, oh, it's a church. No, I'm sorry. I mean, but there is no permission. I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of difficult. So that happens that here, values, religions are very linked to, to people yet. And uh, they are um, still like old fashioned in some things. Uh, so diversity is one thing. I mean, at work, definitely we can have diversity and we need to respect 
but also with the self-respect. So the respect is in both ways. So I give you respect and you give me respect. That is very important, very, very important. Anyways, those are different situations that are not really with work situations, but we're going to discuss that later on. Any other comment about this kind of situation? Have you experienced anything like that? I mean, that happens in many ways in all kinds of religions, but uh, maybe we don't know what has happened, right? Imagine, imagine how strong is this? How important is religion that there are wars? There are people killing people because of religion. And that still happens nowadays. Mm -hmm. So definitely, it's a very difficult topic. It's a very difficult topic because since values and beliefs are very strong for people, uh, it's difficult. I mean, just to speak with other people is sometimes difficult and uh, just to clarify things or just to say things like that. Uh, and we are very lucky because here, I mean, Maybe, yes, it's kind of difficult to listen uh, that noise during the day, but imagine in other countries, in other countries like the way that I'm telling you, like they have wars based on this one that is not, that is not good. That is even worse. I mean, you can die because of that one. That is even worse, right? So we are bad, but not that bad. I mean, they are experiencing something that is, very, very difficult situation. Any other comments? Anybody? Please speak in English. You can say anything. We are going to respect your opinion. <laughs> Whatsoever you want to say, we can listen to you. Hello. It's me. How is the name of the song? I don't remember. It's like, hello from the other side. One day we're going to sing a song. Nobody else says have an opinion about these kind of topics. Okay. Very good. So we're going to check the attendance. And then we're going to move on still with religion with it in a different way. Uh, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Ospin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Good. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Very good. Okay, I have two chats. Present. Uh, very good, Fernando, got you. I got Jose Smith, of, uh, of course, Ada, Susana, and... Okay, so we're gonna watch a little video and you are going to tell me about that one, a comment or a uh, opinion or anything that you can find interesting to that one, vocabulary or anything. So, here we go.
Okay, first question. Were you able to read everything? Mm, to be honest with you, no, not everything. Uh, I mean, um, almost in every <laughs> paragraph, the last sentence. <laughs> Okay, so yes, it's, it's kind of difficult, but, but this sometimes, you know what is to scan something? To scan an article. To scan an article is like when you have uh, something to read, but you just have a few seconds for you to read. So you scan, you look for like the general idea, and then you continue, you move on. So in some situations, it's good to practice that kind of things. How to scan something so you can get the main idea. Uh, of course, sometimes I'm, it's much better for you to read something and understand, right? But it's a good idea for you to practice these kind of things. Now, the second question is, what did you get from the video? In some uh, in, uh, companies, you, get, you can get uh, discrimination because you... Um, belief in a specific um, religion. And to be honest, uh, I had experience in my previous job. I have a friend, that, a co co-worker, that he was um, testigo de Jehovah. I don't remember what religion, but uh, he never um, spent time in activities because their religion is not uh, viable to do that. For example, uh, he he didn't celebrate uh, birthdays and holidays and Christmas or something like that. It, it was uh, weird for the rest of the team, but I I got no. Nah. The thing is that. Um, well, he, he was a, a, a friend, he was my friend, and I tried to, um, I tried to uh, share some uh, activities or some specific time with him, but it was very complex because he himself get a discrimination in the workplace. The boss, uh, I remember that he understand, understood that situation and he never say something about that. The thing is that my friend got discrimination by himself and at the end of, of the day, uh, he hired a renuncia. He resigned. Yeah. He, sorry? Resigned. He resigned, thank you. He re resigned because he felt, he felt that uh, if it, it was not a comfortable workplace. And I, to be honest, I think that it was a mix about the all because uh, the team tried to work in different activities with him, but he can't, never. So it is really complex. Okay, it's very interesting the experience that you told us about. I mean, that happens. I mean, that person felt discriminated, but that person is the one who didn't want to participate at all. So yeah. that, I mean, what can we do, right? It's like... I yeah, mean, it's hmm. complex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, is is yeah, it's, it's difficult, and I believe that sometimes everybody we struggle with our own beliefs and with our religion. So sometimes that happens, right? Okay, very good. So we're gonna read a little bit about the benefits of religious diversity in the workplace. So societal shifts mean that it is critical to consider religion and belief in the workplace. Inclusive workplaces accept and encourage colleagues to feel confident to bring that part of themselves to work. Organizations 
uh, where employees feel safe to share their faith at work will reap the benefits of religious diversity. Read on to find out what they are. And the first one is going to be for Danny. Okay. Why is there more religious diversity in the world? Immigration to the UK has meant, has meant that there has been a diversification and an increase in people who choose to identify with their religion. The, 20, the 2011 <laughs> census indicated and an increase of those following no Christian belief from 5.8% to 8.4% of population. This is likely to be reflected in many workplaces. Workplace. When the data from 2021 census is released, it, it is likely to show that this trend has increased in, interestingly, a science survey conducted in 2010 in, indicated that 80% uh, percent, percent of health declared Muslims are likely to actively participate in religion compared to Two percent of self declared Christians. Very so, good. Wow. What do you get from this? Um, well, it's, it's about um, um, survey, <laughs> survey or census about uh, UK, about um, religion and how to uh, third time it has, it has been increased, it has been increased. And first, and the non the no Christian, <laughs> and then um for two thousand twenty twenty one, um the represent and the Muslim was um, the most the most who are practicing the religion. Mm, compared to the question. <laughs> well, that is true. I mean, uh, I didn't f uh, find actually a, a census about the El Salvador, but in Salvador, it's kind of easy. Either you are Catholic mm -hmm. or Christian, right? There is no other. I mean, maybe a few people that are practicing other religion, but this is just a few people. So, uh, yeah, in other countries, countries like the UK, I mean, the United Kingdom, not only England, um, is changing this a lot. And they are one of the most, uh, the countries that are encouraging more people to uh, to come with your religion. I mean, that is not important. We can learn from you. And that is that is not a problem at all, of course. So it's a interesting thing, all the statistics that we find here. So in my mind, Muslims is something that is very opposite of many of the things that we believe. They are very strict in many things. And to... I mean, uh, to live or to work with that kind of people, some people might believe here is kind of strange. But no, I mean, in other countries, it's like normal, come here, and we're going to work. So it's not important if you are a Muslim. Good, thank you. It says the benefits are for religious diversity in the workplace. With these influencing factors in mind, it is important to understand how freedom of religion at work can make your workplace more inclusive. Religious diversity will enable you to be confident to attract and retain a workforce that reflects the society you operate in. It will give you the opportunity to address religion bias uh, in the workplace and will bring diversity of doubt alongside many other benefits that are explored in more detail below. Okay, the first one is going to be for Roxana. Internationalization, yeah? Yeah, internationalization, yeah. Interna what? <laughs> internationalization. Good, you earn a car. <laughs> okay. 
Ay, qué chiquita esa letra, teacher, déjeme ver. Internalization means that organization needs to be aware of their religious custom and practice in each country or, of, or community that they operate in. It's important to understand this custom and practice in context of your organization's values and behaviors. A mismatch can lead to poor employee retention, engagement, and dissatisfied customers. Okay, dissatisfied customers. What did you get from this? Let me see. Uh, hmm. Maybe that when you are um, applied a um, different way, maybe uh, talking about a company when you are uh, working with another countries, when with another uh, cultures, you have to be maybe open mind and try to satisfy the um, no so try to uh, implement um convenient convenient uh, no let me see maybe uh, in a company uh, at the end of the day, you try to uh, looking for a um, comfortable environment for the for the rest of the team and the customers, and try to um, be open mind or available to to these cultures. Okay, very good. So yes, actually internalization is like uh, when you get people from other cultures and religion, of course, is, is part of other cultures. So you will be able to have people that brings new idea, different points of view, mm -hmm. and religion is part of that one. So you need to be aware in your company that any kind of religion is welcome to, to the company. Yeah, maybe uh, try to be open mind all the time about that uh, specific situation. Yeah, you need to be aware on, I mean, open, open your mind and welcome everybody so they can, I mean, you can learn from there. You can learn about what they believe, mm -hmm. what, they, what they do, and of course about operational level, what they can give to the company. Good, perfect, thank you. A VARA organizational benefits. That is going to go to Fernando. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> VARA organizational benefits. There is why acceptance of the organizational and social benefit of workforce diversity. As religious world, workplace diversity grows, consideration of religious inclusion will be critical to achieve and retain its benefits. Our anecdotal research suggests that college with a religious conviction bring strong ethical values and different perspective to the world they do, which is highly advantage, advantages for many sec sectors. In addition, employees who connect with the deeper purpose purpose of their work through their belief are thought to be more resilient, responsive, and passionate about their work. Good. What did you get from this? Uh, I understand that people that have a religion, um, it's more benefit for the company. They are more um, responsive and passionate with they work and it's good. Some represent benefit for the organization and for the team, obviously. Perfect. So that is it. I mean, definitely, it's going to bring some different point of view and it's going to uh, 
I mean, you're going to learn and you're going to be uh, benefited on being international as well, to understand better the world, how it's going to. Because if you speak only with people from the same country, uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to be good. You will have friends, but you won't be able to learn from them. So it's going to be a kind of interesting thing. High quality service delivery. This is going to be for uh, Heidi. Not possible. Okay, Maria Alejandra. Okay, teacher. Give me. Hi, quality service delivery. Yes. Yeah, please. The richness and diversity of those that religion inclusion brings to the workplace will benefit all se se sector. For sectors that have a diverse client diverse. of diverse clients of customer based this in size and sensitive towards religion, belief, and practice will be especially valuable. Example, include those working in or as healthcare, social workers, counselors, uh, psychologists, lawyers, and youth judges. judges and teachers. What did you get from this? Maybe when in the company have a uh, inclusion and bring a different benefit for the other sectors or that clients, customer that maybe I think that the when they say is inside is that you don't see but they stay here. And it's important for the other persons. Um, maybe for for me not, but for you, yes. And is uh, the different of the service or for the, the clients and choose that your company for the other for a specific quality or that adjective or that your product or like this. And <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. So that is it. I mean, uh, yes, it's going to be a high quality service delivery because you're going to be able to, with the diversity, improve the process and procedures. So you are going to be able to uh, have a better attention for our customers. So that is a good thing. Creates an open culture. Giselle. Hello, Giselle. Oh, she's at the supermarket. Roberto Orellana. Not possible. Marcus. Okay. Um, hi. All the service delivery. Actually, it's the next. It creates an open culture. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Creates an open culture. Employees today have different expectation of the workplace than their predecessors. In many societies, people have the freedom to choose their value system and beliefs. When people are more open like this, they can be less willing to disconnect from their personal identities at work. They expect to be able to express their views freely at work and be respect regardless. People with strong beliefs may be more likely to seek alignment of their value in the world and in the organization they work for. Organizations that enable employees' authenticity, like sharing your failed work, are more likely to reap the associated benefit. Good. What do you get from this? Um, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I understand that the organization that um, foster or encourage the open mind or open culture in which their employers can express or can share in their values and faith. Um, I think the I think it generates a good environment and um, that brings a lot of benefits. So it's important to to bring to give to their employers to the employer and a good environment um, in which they feel um, free to to share their faith and not being um, control or um, I don't know um, like banned from their faith because maybe they feel they feel bad and that um, can affect the in, the in performance of their work. Okay. Very good. Actually, you say something interesting. I mean, the work, I mean, everywhere, you should be able to openly share about your, your belief, right? You can say, I believe in this. And uh, I mean, everybody has to respect your belief. And if other people, they don't believe the same that you believe, you need to respect them. So it should be like that one. It should be like an open place for you to share what are your traditions, your beliefs. And that's it right now. There shouldn't be any ban. Good. Next one uh, supports employee well being. Francisco Eduardo. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, could you please help us read and support employee well being? Okay, teacher. Workplace well behind programs are generally accepted as behind important for be. organization. Yeah, as being important. Sorry, teacher, sorry. As being important for organizational outcomes. Traditionally, programs focuses on health and safety, stress, and work-life balance, but more recently have extended to cover spiritual needs. This recognizes uh, that religion can provide an additional source of well-being. Sorry, this well being, well being, and comfort, particularly for just working in emotional target environment. As a result, more organizations are not providing quite, quite room for contemplation or prayer. Okay, what did you get from this? Uh, is there interest topic? <laughs> yeah, actually, it's, this is very good. Uh, because uh, I think uh, in my in my own opinion, uh, the human uh, uh, that need the spiritual area, and it's a a, a good uh, part that the company recognizes that that need, and and. It, I think uh, uh, that uh, say the company, uh, what do you say? Se preocupa, is um, worried about or takes care of. Or take, take care, okay? Take care for the employees, not only for a production that uh, the company view uh, a human, entire uh, for uh, a different a different need but really is 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 very important and I think uh, that the implement the quite wrong is a very interest and for me it's, it's a good idea. Yeah, actually, this is a very good idea. I mean, imagine that your company has a quiet place, 
uh, for you to pray, for you to share with other people, for you to be in peace. Um, that that is a very good thing. There are many companies that they do that kind of things, even here in El Salvador, for example, in my company, sometimes we get massages or we get fruits or um, I don't know, sometimes they come clowns and take jugs and things like that. So those little things are important for uh, for the employee to 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 enjoy work in a better way. So it's a very nice thing. Good, perfect, creating a faith inclusive workplace with inclusive employers. Yvonne. Not possible for Yvonne. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo. Yes, teacher. Good, the uh, last so one, creating. Creating a faith in inclusive work pleased with inclusive employers. We can see the religious diversity has many benefits to creating and engage. Productive and inspired work fair, a workforce. To find out more about how to make faith inclusion on every reality in your organization, download or religion, and believe in the workplace package. It contains the use, useful in the same of the ed, ethics and practices of the UK major religions and how organiza, organization can accommodate them. Members, please download the package for free here. Now members, go to get in touch. Here's the thing. Your copy. Okay, so what did you get from this one? Um, maybe this is just to uh, like include uh, extra information for the diversity of religions that can help to the religious. I, I can I guess that our religious uh, can help to those religious to, to know about something extra, mm -hmm, I guess, I don't know. Okay, very good. Yeah, uh, well, we need to create inclusive workplace uh, for religion, for faith, for any kind of things. So everybody's free to, of course, with respect, with values, taking in consideration that you are in the workplace, I mean, it's not that you are going to do whatever you want, but you will be able to express freely about your faith, your religion, your culture. And actually, uh, what I will do as a boss is uh, tomorrow you are, we're going to have a meeting and you are going to tell about your beliefs or your religion or your culture, something interesting from your country, so we can learn about you. So, And then we can get to know each other and, and have a better, a, a better environment. You know, that would be fantastic. Very, very good. Perfect. This was a short reading, and we have a, another one here that is about um, conflicts. Uh, what companies can do when work and religion conflict. Okay. So uh, we're going to start with um, Jose Osmin. Hello, what does this mean? Is it possible for you to read? Not possible. Fernando. Okay, teacher. Since 2007, the number of complaints for religious discrimination filed with the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, EEOC, has risen significant, significantly. It's not hard to see why an increase in immigrants of diverse faiths, greater workforce diversity, and the globalization of business all play a role in more workers from different religious backgrounds meeting on the job. For many employers, it is only a matter of time before they face conflicts between religion and work. 
uh, continue? Just the next one, please. Okay. To resolve such conflicts, managers must frame the issues carefully and consider the long-term effect of their decision. How they add can either improve moral by affirming an inclusive culture, or it can suggest that religion is merely tolerated and possibly in vile litigation. Okay, what did you get from this? Um, according to the text, uh, there was an increase in complaints for religion discrimination because the globalization uh, one benefit of the globalization is have um, thing, thing workers, not thing work with diversity. And um, USA is the, is the best example, right? Definitely. Uh, even in, even uh, in, in, in our country, it's possible that have people in, in Ting World from different different religious, not different countries. Well, maybe sometimes it's happened, but uh, the most the mostly is a different religion. And it's complicated because Rosanna says an example that uh, with the which he with her uh, co-worker in the past that belong to a religion that doesn't allow to celebrate, for example, Independence Day or birthdays. And it's complicated because some people doesn't understand that. And they, they can affect these people because other people um, uh, get mock on them. Sorry? Get mock on them. Get mug and then oh yeah, get mug and then, and but sometimes companies um, don't have don't pay attention to that to this, um, so create a bad atmosphere in the workplace. Okay, very but, good, yeah. very nice. Actually, that that is true. I mean. Uh, well, companies, if you are a leader in the company, you should take care of this one. As I as we were saying, maybe it's not that difficult in El Salvador because in El Salvador, there are not that many religions and the most of the religions are, are based in Christianity. There are differences, of course, and sometimes people uh, get in debates about what is true or what is not true. Uh, but as long as they respect each other, everything is fine right so you can promote actually things like that in other countries i mean it's, it's it's totally different because people from different parts of the world like in the u.s as you say is the best example i mean conflicts are going to be there definitely so we're going to check the uh, the next two paragraphs let's see consider and how exactly uh, maria alejandra Yes, teacher. Okay. And considering what happened recently at a Kyrgyz facility, facility in facility. facility in Fort Morgan, Colorado, a while some of the facts remain unknown, it appears that eleven Muslim Muslim Muslims. Muslim Muslims workers of Somali descent want to pray at the same time in one of two rooms at the plant set at the plant set aside for prayer and reflection. How exactly the request was handled is in dispute. According dispute. to one dispute. According to one version, the co-worker supervisor, supervi supervisor asked them to go in a small, smaller group in order not to dis disrupt production of the assembly line. Another version, version claimed 
that management had decided to cut down on prior breaks. The worker prayed in small groups and at the end of their shift, 10 of, of the 11 with ultimate, ultimately um, 115, 100. Mm -hmm. yes. Mus Muslim work and missing work of three days in protest. And Car Cargill fired them for failing to infer the company that they would be absent. Absent about 130 of the fighter workers have filed a company with the EEOC. Okay, so this is about a case that happens. So where uh, some Muslims working from, uh, from Somalia, uh, they wanted to pray at the same time, everybody. Mm -hmm. The problem with this kind of religion is that you need to pray at a certain time. It's not that uh -huh. you say, oh, I'm gonna pray at two in the afternoon. I mean, no, it's going to be like at that time, uh, it's a specific routine, it's a specific belief. And they were not permitted. So because of the job, I mean, we understand the company, but also they had the right. So it was a big problem, definitely. So let's continue reading. The other two paragraphs are going to be for uh, Giselle, are you with us? Not possible. Danny. Yes, sorry, I'm parking my car right now. Oh, okay, please don't crash. <laughs> I hope so. so. <laughs> okay, no, if you are busy, don't worry. Next time is you. So um, we're going to go with Danny. Danny, is it possible for you? Yeah, sure. Good, perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Bye, bye. Uh, the title, yeah, Title 7. Okay. Title 7 of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibit, among other things, religious discrimination in any place of employment. Not only must employ employers not treat work differently based on their religion, but when a, con a conflict arises between a religious practice and a workplace policy, employers must also try to accommodate the employee. Employers have a responsibility to give their employers notice of an actual conflict and work with their bosses to reach an accommodation. The, poor, the burden of, on the employer is not very heavy. Any accommodation cannot be reasonably, reasonably sensitive. Compromise work to safety, decrease efficiency, or require other employees to do more than their share of dangerous uh, for the some work. Moreover, an accommodation does not have to fit the employee's ideal scenario or even match what the employee asks for. Okay, what do you get from this? And there are uh think it's a title or article, something like that in the field, right? Yeah. <laughs> that um, that is prohibited and to the, to the company, the religion discrimination to the employees, their religion, and their the belief. The company uh, or the employer have, have to, uh, it's a word, uh, accommodation to, 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 to facilitate the thing to the to the employee to to in order to the the, the employees can can leave the 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 religion. 
So that is it. It's very interesting what it says. Employees have a responsibility to give their employer notice of an actual conflict and work with their bosses to reach an accommodation. So yes, they uh, maybe because they were in immigrants, sometimes they are not able to understand these kind of things. But what they had to do at this situation is to everybody to uh, to create like a memo or uh, a request. Everybody have to sign that request and provide that to the employer. And if the employer says, no, we are not going to do anything about this one, then they can go to the, um, the department that regulates this one, the EEOC. So uh, they will be able to, to try to reach something that is good for both. Probably also another thing that happens is that uh, there are some companies that they cannot stop production or something that is too expensive. Uh, so, but depending on how much time they are going to pray, I mean, I believe that is reasonable for for them to to go in and and agree on something that is beneficial for both. So that is what you need to do when you are managing a conflict, right? A conflict about, in this case, religion. But I mean, you need to listen to your employees and try to try to understand made them understand hey listen i understand that you want to pray but this is very expensive we cannot stop right now what can we do i understand your point of view but you try to understand my point of view right so it's uh, something that is very important let's continue uh the next one is going to be for roberto are you with us Not possible. Okay, Marcus. Not possible. Heidi. Sorry, teacher. I was mute. Uh, one, ah, okay. One paragraph. paragraph. Uh, it's going to be two paragraphs. Workers and the next. Okay. Sorry. Workers and employers alike have the incentive to reach a compromise. Otherwise, they are both likely to suffer. In Fort Morgan, the one side night immigrant community is in turmoil as families and neighbors live. And Carly still has not been able to fill all the all of the missing workers they can get. To prevent this agreement of religion and accommodation, boiling over into conflict companies can take several simple steps. Okay, so uh, until there, what did you get from this? Um, um I don't understand so much about this. I feel like the, I need more content. I think it's like incomplete the idea, but I get that workers um, need to have incentives to to feel engaged and feel the, 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 that they are aware. Uh, for example, an permission for for uh, worship events or vacations. Um, okay. And yeah. That. Okay, good. So yeah, definitely uh, workers and employers, both, they have to get their own incentives, right? So they can get uh, something good for both. For example, uh, in this situation, what happened at the end is that the employees that resigned, they they don't have a job, right? Their families, they don't have food. So it's a big problem for them. On the other hand, uh, the company, they uh, they it was not easy to fill all the workers. I mean, a lot of workers, they left the company, 130 workers at the same time. So uh, that was, I mean, it's a big impact for the companies. I mean, imagine the consequences. 
the consequences for everybody, negative consequences, just because they were not able to, to manage this conflict. So it's, it's not good. I mean, you need to avoid all this misunderstanding so you and the company and the employees, we are all happy. And all just because of religion, because something that they wanted to do and it was not possible. Okay, the next two paragraphs are going to be for Giselle. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. The uh, regular regularly remind. It will be made the equal. Okay. Make the equal treatment of all employees, regardless of treats like religion. A man. How do you pronounce that? Mandate. Uh, let me just mandate. Yeah, mandate. Okay, religion and mandate. Of course, the law pro. Prohibits, 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 uh -huh. prohibits different treatment based on religion, but including the tenet of equal treatment and respect in the firm's code of ethics demonstrates the company's commitment to a culture of inclusion. Okay, Regular go ahead. Just the next one. Well. Yeah, no, the okay. next one. Well. Yeah, okay. Regularly remind workers of the importance of that tenet and consistently enforce it. What is tenet? Uh, tenet, anybody knows what is tenet? That can help me. It's not like the movie. Hello. I'm sorry? Like a canon governing principle. Yeah, like a principle. Very good. Something like, like that. Very good. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, of that tenet and consistently enforced it. Show employees that the code of ethics is not just something that lives on paper. Okay. Uh, what did you get from these two things? That with the first one. Um, Made the equal treatment. That the companies can act or they can, um, how do you say it? Um, como medir? I forgot the word. Measure. Like measure, maybe. They behavior about these of the these things of religion based on the law on or maybe the code of ethic that they have and that's with the first one i don't know if i'm okay of yeah i understand right the okay. the paragraph okay and the second that uh, is very important to put in practice what paper said not just uh, said to the employees uh, the papers or the code of ethics says this, 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 this. So that's important, yes. But it's much important to put in practice that. Very good, perfect. So yes, I mean, uh, you uh, as the leader of a company, you need to uh, speak with all the employees and let them know that everybody is the same. That you are going to uh, treat everybody the same. Uh, and of course, yeah, you say something very important that you you need to create like a code of ethics. That is something that all the companies have, even here in El Salvador. And of course, the second one is to, well, regularly remind. So let them know, please remember, right? Remember that we need to, uh, you know, you know that this is something that we need to do. We need to remind people sometimes to come on time, sometimes to to do specific duties and this is part of it so we are going to respect remember that we are at work we respect everybody and remember the code of ethics and uh, the rules so you need to put in practice everything that is there related very good perfect the next uh, ones are going to be for uh, the two paragraphs are going to be for Heidi
Sorry, teacher. From from review. review. Yep. Review and refine policies for different religious practices. These include time time or days off, or observances, dietary restrictions, and dress codes. Anticipate staffing needs and factor them into any policy or accommodation discussion in order to identify limits and possible areas of flexibility. The cardiac faci facility has specific staffing requirements on the assembly line. Other types of business can anticipate staffing and productivity issues, for example, during tax seasons, earnings reports, or the holiday retail rush. Okay, what did you get from that one? That there are times where, uh, where uh, the companies needs the resources to be in there. Uh, this one is especially sound familiar for me, uh, where it says uh, when during tax season, for example, it's hard for companies to give lots of permissions, right? Yeah. So I guess uh, we have to find uh, this point where it's not 100% fair for the employee or for the company, but we ha they have to find out this, this point where both agree, right? Yeah, definitely, that is it. So um, yeah, you need to uh, anticipate what you are going to need from staff and also uh, you have to take in consideration the need, the need that they have for anything like rest or pray or to retire, or if there is a holiday for them, that is very important. You know that they are going to ask that day off. So that is very important. Very good. Okay, the next uh, and the final one is going to be for Roxana. Is it possible for you, Roxanne? Not possible, okay. Juan Miguel Brand. Not possible either, okay. So let's see who else is. Jose Osmin. Not possible either. Yvonne. Not possible. Okay. Maria Alejandra. Everybody is at the supermarket. I mean, sorry, teacher. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, starting conflict. Conflict, yes, please. Uh -huh. Sorry. Um, conflict, avoidance, my boy. Avoidance at ethnic aren't, aren't the only reason to work towards solutions to religions, accommodations. Accommodations. A recent study showed that workers who feel rel religiously comfortable in the workplace have higher job satisfaction. And as no, Noelle, Noelle Noel Nelson, Nelson. Noel Nelson demonstrates in her books may make more money by mar making your employees happy. Higher job satisfaction among employees leads to great Greater prof, profitable profitability profitability for the employer. Uh, as Cargill and the other employees are discovering, faith is a part of the old, per, old person that employers ignore at their peril. Peril. Very good. What did you get from this? Mm, maybe that the person feel comfortable with a 
point of view of relations is at the workplace, the production or that satisfaction the employee is higher compared that is not to include or, or demonstrate that the is is important for that company that um, that uh, serves a solution for that make a time for the, the specific religion. Okay, very good. Thank you. So I uh, guess if you are happy, if you are comfortable, and uh, if you don't have any problems with the religion that you practice at work, uh, I mean, you are going to be more productive, everything is going to be good, you will have a better and higher job satisfaction. So definitely something that we need to take into consideration, right? So yes, here, we have seen that in El Salvador, we have the situations that are not correct with religion and we need to be careful i mean in the future whenever we are the leaders of companies uh, we need to change those things diversity uh, is very important we cannot avoid to hire people because it's from other religion uh, i mean of course we need to take in consideration some values and also definitely the uh, the the profile that people have for, for them to fill the vacant, uh, the position in, in your job. But I mean, religion shouldn't be one of the most important. So it's not like that. Good, my friends, do you have any questions uh, before we finish? No, I know. Okay, religion was the topic of today and it was kind of good. We did not fight. So we're going to check the uh, attendance and uh, the um, the one one of today is going to be for Giselle. So here we go. Ada okay, Azucena, a good, perfect. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present Juan teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Zuleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Cacho Zuleima. Okay, very well. It was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night to everyone. Okay. Hello, Giselle. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good, good.
Nice, very good. So you were driving home when you, when we were talking. Yeah. So sometimes it's very difficult, right? The job and everything else. Yeah, I had a um, um, a kind of meeting, but but I I I I try to 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 stay like in the class and in the other things. So I heard some things that the 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 classmates said and and about the topic. Very interesting, actually. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, and religion. Yeah. yeah. Very Religion could, could result sometimes uh, a little bit controversial because everybody has a uh, different point of view about the topic. That is true. And that's why it's very difficult. Uh, difficult because, I mean, it's not uh, that you have different beliefs, but also is that you, I mean, you feel sometimes that somebody is pointing at you and attacking you and you feel very personal. Yeah, right? and yeah. Yeah, that is like, well, like football here in Salvador, you know, that is something that, my goodness, <laughs> you can start a fight. So it's kind of complicated sometimes, but it was yeah. it was a good experience. Good. Yeah, and teacher, I have a question. Um, you remember that you, at, at the beginning of the class, we were talking about the, the homework and the platform, the 1.9, mm -hmm. that have a like a mistake with the platform or or, or something like that. Yep. Uh, yesterday that we discussed this in class, uh, this exercise actually, I I well, I tried to to do at the same time that we were discussing. Okay. In the class, but I don't know why I just don't have the correct answers. Okay. Like the platform says that, like I don't know, no, I don't know if everything is wrong, or or I don't know. Yeah, to be honest with you, I was not able to to submit uh, this one. I was trying to do it that myself today, and uh, it's not possible to submit. Uh, I mean, it's, let me just check if I do something here because the one that has the message is the number four, but. Let's see. No, yeah, it's not possible. Everything has a problem. So uh, I will report that one. I don't know what is the problem. It's, it's the coding. I can see that is the coding on the website that is not accepting, I believe. You know, some, some people, they enter the solution. Sometimes the solution is not correct. Sometimes there is a character that is, is causing problems. That's why sometimes um, we need to be careful about those things. But by now, it doesn't matter what you do. Is going to show you an error. So I'm going to yeah. do the whole exercise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have to wait. Just wait. For that one, oh. yes, we need to wait. Okay. Okay. No okay. problem. Let's hope that is uh, fixed this year uh, because sometimes this takes a <laughs> I remember the last model. Uh, yeah. we, we had a problem in the platform too. And now just it doesn't happen. The mistake. Yeah just stay like that <laughs> that is true sometimes uh there are little errors maybe the problem is i don't know why the people that they are doing this they, they are uploading the answer they don't they don't test it they don't try it that is the problem right because you need to to be sure that everything is running well anyways i'm yeah. going to report and let's see how it goes okay Good. Uh, do you have any question regarding the class or grammar or any other thing? Um, mm, no, teacher. I was checking and I uh, tried the last week. I this this week I don't have the time. Sometimes I have a, a couple of minutes at my lunch or or after my lunch to practice. And I the last week I tried to to practice about the all the topic the, of the germs. And I think that I understand pretty well this part of the of the grammar. So I'm, I think I'm okay. Very good. Actually, we're going to continue checking about that topic. So 
um, this or the next week, we're going to check a little bit more because we need to compare the gerunds with the infinitive, when to use both, when uh, the meaning is different. Uh, anyways, we're going to continue with that one. So it's a, it's a very good topic. Sometimes it's kind of difficult because it's totally different from what we do in Spanish, but I know yeah. we are going to make it. Okay, yeah, uh, and actually I, I, I'm checking right now the platform, the two point, the homework 2.2, and it's about gerunds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes, you know, this, uh, the problem that we have is that this, uh, the, the section number two is two weeks. So sometimes I move fast, sometimes I move slow, but definitely mm -hmm. we're going to check into that one. Okay, nice. So we can understand a little bit better. And of course, whenever you go to New York, no problems at all in communication. <laughs> Actually, I want to, to, to thank you with this. Um, I like, really like when we practice or do this test. I find these, I don't know, that, that activity, I find that activity very, very interesting and very funny. I think it's a very funny way to learn. Uh, very good. I'm very happy that you liked it. Actually, tomorrow we're going to do another test. Uh, I have four more that we're going to do, but we're going to do one day, one, the other, but they are related. So it's going to be good. And then we're going to continue with English. This is a little bit different. It's regarding English, I mean, but it's something I don't remember exactly, but I have prepared four tests uh, that are okay. going to be kind of good. So we can check vocabulary, grammar, and, and, and think, right? What is the correct solution in this? So that is a good thing. Okay. Very good. I, so. And that teacher, I'm, I actually feel very, very happy and, and very, um, oh my God, I forgot how to say it. Um, I forgot in Spanish too. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my God. Like, uh, no sé cómo decirle. Eh, me siento como muy a gusto, quizá. Sí, así, así, así creo que es. Okay. Eh, with the, with the, with all of the, of the model, the, the, the exercise that we do, that, yeah, that we do in the class. And yeah. That. Okay, that is very nice. I'm very happy that you are happy learning. I mean, sometimes I try not to be boring. Sometimes some topics are difficult. Uh, but this one, that's why I enjoy. I mean, what is your opinion? What do you think about this one? And then we don't do the same all the classes. So I try to, to change things. And I'm very nice. I'm, I'm very happy to, to listen that you are happy on this one. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank and you for no, your feedback. No questions, teacher. Yep. Okay. It was a pleasure then to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good rest and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. For you too. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Good night. Bye-bye.